It was the shot that rang out around the world 50 years ago today. President John F. Kennedy was assassinated in Dallas, Texas. 21 NBC's Elaine Rackley spoke to Middle Georgia residents who remembered where they were when they heard President Kennedy was dead. He was the 35th president of the United States, and to this day, people still honor his memory as one of the greatest presidents who faced a tragic death 50 years ago. As he, as he was waving back, he was, he was, the shot rang out and he slumped down in the seat. It came on TV for whoever was in the house looking at TV, because when this come on, naturally, everybody gonna hit the ceiling. And that's what was going on. They, Met me out in the road and we was crying and we was, you know, having a bad time because, you know, something bad had just happened to us. President John F. Kennedy died at approximately 1 o'clock Central Standard Time today here in Dallas. He died of a gunshot wound in the brain. I was a student at Morris Brown College in Atlanta, Georgia. I was in the dormitory. Uh, and uh, we were watching television. Of course, we were not watching the news. And someone ran into the dormitory and said, uh, turn the TV on, turn the TV on. The president has been shot. After being shot by an unknown assailant, by an unknown assailant during a motorcade drive through downtown Dallas. During a motorcade drive through downtown Dallas. I was at work at uh, 3335 Avenue with Jim Cleaners. And we was all working fine and feeling good. And when we heard it, we heard it over the radio. And we were so astonished about it till we just, we just froze. We just didn't know what to say or do. In Macon, Elaine Rackley, 41 NBC News. Those remembering President Kennedy described him as a man of integrity, supporting Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s fight for civil and equal rights. They also said he gave them hope for a better future.